Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Hitcher and welcome back to another episode of All The Mods 8. In the last episode we got our All The Modion, we made ourselves some armor and we tried to find the other horse but we didn't manage to get the Unobtainian and the Vibranian because these horns are really really rare and I didn't have enough time to look for them so I went around on the internet looking for how is the best way to find these ores and a lot of people said one interesting thing here he says that this ore is not queryable which means that it will not be mined by any kind of query this being our digital miner or any other kind of query which there is another one that's really good and the other query that I can think is the builder it uses some old modium and we can use it to find the other ores more easily because even though it is a builder we can use this upgrade the query update to turn it into a query and if we look right here we have this teleport pad that can lead us to the other dimension which is basically a mining dimension but in the nether which will have only nether ores and with this query we can kind of take off everything but the vibranium the bad thing about this is that this consumes an awful lot of energy and this is what we're gonna solve today because today we're gonna start messing around with big reactors and the first thing i want to make sure is that we have some of the uranium if we look here we already have some uranium we have 74 uranium slate ore which is different from the uranite and one raw block of uranium we can double it which means we will have around 140 of this uranium so let me start multiplying this first and this is really smaller than i expected but let me break everything here and see how many ingots we have two and a half stacks which is good, we can turn two and a half stacks into four stacks. And here we have the last uranium. We got a lot here to work with, but we're gonna need to keep cooking stuff because now we need to make a lot of graphite and this is just coal in the smelter. So let me get some coal. Let me just put it in here and again we wait okay we got 165 granite here so i think we're good to go because we need a total of 119 blocks of this thing reactor casings i'm not gonna do a lot of excess yeah i made a lot of excess but anyways we need also to get all these other stuff such as this reactor port terminal these rods we need four of these one two three four this one here we don't have a piston i think that's not a problem yeah how much glass do we have yeah we don't have a lot of glass because i wanted to make it transparent but that's fine let me just grab these guys here oh we are also gonna need some diamond blocks okay we're not gonna need diamond blocks we're gonna use granite this will be used as a cooling system and diamond is the best way since diamond is kind of expensive we're gonna need to use the graphite so we're gonna need a few more graphite let me just put some more coal to make okay so we have all the graphite blocks that we need and we are also gonna need a rod thing this guy here we're gonna need and here we have it 
now we have everything we need for the reactor. I was planning on doing two of these, but we don't have enough energy to keep up with everything we need. If we need to produce some more iron or anything else, we are not getting to it. So now we need to find a place. And I was thinking about here and making just one of those classic cartoonish things of reactors and let, let me put just an image here so you can imagine how it will look like and inside of this thing we're gonna put the reactor but we're gonna make the reactor first and then we're gonna make the construction around it and the reactor is quite an easy build we're just gonna need to put a 5x5 five five structure here. Now we get the corners up for our blocks high and finish the sides here. And I'm gonna do it facing this direction. So in here we're gonna put the reactor terminal and the reactor access port. Up here, we're going to need to fill in these spaces. I tested on a creative server and this was the best way we could do it. Inside here, we're going to put this fuel rods and this is looking great. Now, the space left, we're going to fill with graphite. And now the rest is just putting the reactor casings. Let me see if I can do this right here. No, we need a crafting table. So I'm gonna make this real quickly and turn these reactor casings into glass because they will look much better. This is all we needed, I think. I also made this reactor power tap, which is from where we're gonna take out the energy. I forgot to make this one. Now I'm gonna put this power tap. I think I'm gonna put it right here and fill this thing with this glass and the reactor is done now we just need to put something inside it we need to put it through a hopper and the thing we need to use is the rest of the uranium we had but we need to first make another thing and this i hope is a quite easy one we need a tesseract we need one of these as you can see here items fluids and energy can be transferred between multiple tesseracts so we're gonna need two of these one of those we're gonna connect to our big uh how's it called energy cube this is the basic one so let me take this out and put this guy in and we're gonna transfer energy and we're gonna create a channel called reactor one now we're gonna go to the other place which is the reactor here and place this guy right here and link it to the reactor one so now all we need is to put a hopper right here and fill it with uranium i'm gonna start with only one stack this is gonna be more than enough to fill this place this whole thing up actually i'm gonna let it fill up and then i'm gonna take all that's left because there's gonna be some stuff left in here and if everything is working right if i toggle the reactor status this should not be going up okay so i made it work it's just needed a little cable in here but it's still off because it resulted in another problem i filled up this advanced energy cube in a matter of seconds so i'm gonna take this guy out here so we can use it on our digital miner i'm just gonna put it right here select the reactor one activate and receive only now it is filling up just with what we already had here 
it is going down and it's not going down at max capacity because we don't have the best cable but i'm gonna make it right now so we can have the best efficiency on our digital miner as you can see it is already working better and the battery is kind of full i mean it's not not full so i'm gonna make some advanced cables or the one better than advanced let me see if we already have okay so now we have the elite cables and i'm gonna put them in here and in here so now if i turn this thing on we're not gonna generate anything here because it's all going to our digital miner yeah here's completely full i actually think we can turn break this thing off and yeah we're mining now much much better and we can actually put another battery into another place we can use this battery we just take and turn it into a better one because now this thing should be accumulating but it's not i don't know why maybe it's consuming exactly what we are producing yeah we still don't have enough energy this thing's consuming 18k rf and we are only producing 10k rf it this is how much the digital miner produces but yeah this is working and we could adjust here the rods to make it produce less and spend less uranium but i think this is going pretty good right now we're producing almost 10k rf if it's full it's gonna produce 10 dot something k but that's fine we're good in this so now what's left is to build another one of these i think maybe i'll do another one of these and start building the structure that's gonna be around it and after some resource gathering to make the new reactor i present to you the giant factory it's not a factory it's a power plant a powerhouse i don't know but this is how it end up looking we have this tank that's full of water it doesn't have any purpose it's just to be pretty and mainly because in real reactors you have a big pool of water but here we have here is our first reactor we have our tesseract in the middle there and up here we have our second reactor they have nothing here because we still need to make some things for example a big battery because these things together will be generating over 20k power and we will only use some here i think this is using yeah 18 we'll still have 2k left and we could run all the machines back there all these machines but they don't use that much power as you can see they use just a little bit of power they are using none here because we're not doing anything but i need to start thinking about making a battery because there's just so much that this thing can mine because it, when this thing runs like a train it will be done really really quickly so we need to start thinking about making a battery but this will be on a future episode i hope you enjoyed the video please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next one see ya